We don't need to go in that store. We're already hanging out with some quality Italians. <laughs> I didn't even think about the fact that you can't check into your hotel until uh, like, like three, or three or something. <laughs> I was so excited to like take a nap, take a shower, feel better. Not gonna happen this time. <laughs> have a language that you speak on all the things. I wonder how Omar and Julie felt about people. Oh, I'm sure they I mean, crushed he's it. great with English. It'll be fun to see him. In case you don't remember, we first met our friends Omar and Julie in Budapest. They're from Sicily and were traveling with their friends when our paths crossed and we instantly became friends. We found out they were coming to the US for the first time to visit New York City, so we couldn't pass up the opportunity to see them. It also happened to be spring break for our friend Jake and we hadn't seen him in almost a year. So we convinced him to come to New York that weekend as well. where we're staying tonight and all the other nights. We dropped our bags off and now we are headed to get some food. I actually have like quite a bit more energy than I thought I would at this point. Oh, we're in the Big Apple. I love this place. to walk and be like upright. I think that's the thing about red eyes. I don't even mind like being on a plane at night. It's just because if I'm gonna lay down and sleep, like I need to be like stretched out. Walking montage. Currently, we're going to a good breakfast place cafeteria. I think we went here in one of our first vlogs, actually. Well, uh, the only other time that I was in here. Yes. Yes. I bet we can match, like, shot for shot this scene from our last time here. We are at one of my favorite restaurants called Cafeteria. I'm very excited for Shelby to try it. I feel like I've been hyping it up too much, so we'll see what she actually thinks about it. Kind of crazy. Last time I was absolutely. We were both I was like just dead. Pooped. I was so tired, and I, I remember I had worn mascara on the flight, and so it was all just like under my eyes, and I looked so tired. <laughs> Needless to say, I feel a lot better this time. We, uh, we both feel a lot better this time. <laughs> Starting off with an espresso to take me back to my European roots. He also just had a major like Freudian slip or something when he was like, you know, I want to see if they make it like they do back at home. But I realized he didn't mean back at home in California. He meant like Croatia. Oh, not too good. Where were you picturing? Croatia? Probably? Croatia or Italy. Or Italy. They, yeah. just, they really don't make it that way in the US. They don't make it like they used to. Wow. It's like the Star Wars blue milk, but <laughs> in a smoothie. And your okay. pancakes look pretty they, amazing. I can smell them and they smell so good. I'm Why don't really you uh, take a bite? Very lemony. Very good. Post breakfast sleepies. We got out of there for just under 40 schmackos and are now headed to Washington Square Park to see the big arch. Have you seen it before when you've been here? No, oh, never. Oh, yay, it's cool for Reminds me of the Arc de Triomphe. Or like that scene in oh, Infinity War. Infinity War. When Taking a yeah. stop at the garden? Yeah. Okay. 
Well, if you ever find yourself in Greenwich Village, you should definitely come to this little park. I think it's Jefferson Square Park or something. Uh, but this time of year, there's beautiful, beautiful tulips. So, definitely worth it. Tulips are, oh, they're so beautiful. the first time I've ever been to Washington Square Park and I like it. Lots of eclectic, interesting people mm -hmm, making music, hula hooping, playing jazz, taking grad photos, skateboarding, uh, lots of dogs. I like it. Remind me to not touch your hair because it's probably disgusting from sitting on this bench, laying down on the bench I should say. We're heading to go up to Central Park area and then meet up with uh, Julie and Omar and eat a burger. We uh, made the mistake of not practicing any Italian before we're hanging out with Omar and Julie so we have to say buongiorno and buona sera when it's nighttime well, that's if we were and up grazie the evening, I think. and grazie mille. Grazie. There we go. The entire language. They're both practicing English and know it so well. Uh, yeah. I feel to be bad. Fair, they're coming to the U.S. We aren't going to Italy, <laughs> so I don't feel that. But bad. I want to be able to talk to them. In I Italian. know, but I just mean like they have to be able to talk to everyone here, not just us. That's true. Oh wait, we're here. I think we're looking at the friends' apartment or I something. I think it's Ooh, just cool. directly behind me. This building is much prettier, in my opinion. It is. So this is just a nice neighborhood to walk around in, let alone if you want to see the friends' building. I highly recommend walking down. Bedford Street. This is beautiful. Going to Burger Joint. Yeah, but it's located inside this Thompson Hotel. So it was a little confusing finding our way in, but it's a really neat entrance. And it's what it is. How are you? Oh my gosh, it's so fun. Maybe? Gotta do it at least one more time. <laughs> Last trick. <laughs> oh, we love hanging out with you guys. I'm going wherever Central Park is. Am I going the right way for Central Park? Oh, don't you want to take a nap? I... Oh no, you guys have energized me. <laughs> okay. Alright, uh, Central so Park. You know the city better than us. You definitely know it better than us at this point. You guys have been here all week. <laughs> Actually, yes. We don't need to go in that store. We're already hanging out with some quality Italians. <laughs> Man. There's no. two. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm glad we got that on camera. Wow. <laughs> we had to say arrivederci to Julie and Omar well, for the day. Does arrivederci count when it's just one day? Yeah, like, see you soon. Yeah, okay. Right? I guess and so it we're going to see like them. A send -off for a proper That's tonight. true. But we're going to rest now. Cuz we are tired. We didn't end up taking a nap. So yeah. it might just be a really early night for us. We're going to go out for some dinner. I'm not going to take the camera cuz we're just going to have some alone time. I think we honestly probably said that the last time we went to this place. For sure. Because we came here so the last fun. time in New York and it's awesome. It's called Aza's Chocolate Wine Bar and it's just that, except more. It's not just chocolate and wine, but that's like what they specialize in, but then they also have food and all sorts of stuff. 
Yeah. So. Cocktails, chocolate cocktails, desserts. Yep. Looking forward to it. We'll see you tomorrow. Oh, hopefully after a good night of sleep. Yes, we need that. Jake is on his way up. Hey, Hi. what's up? <laughs> Can hear you in the hallway. That's crazy. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Finally, it's been forever, guys. Oh, thank goodness. Wow. It's so good to see you in the flesh. <laughs> Let's go. Where are we going? Parks. We're going to uh, this French restaurant called Angelina's. Let's go. The best they hot have like chocolate, the best chocolate, very good hot croissants. chocolate in the world. You were on camera that whole time. Yeah. That video. Was I? <laughs> <laughs> Already about three seconds into the trip, the umbrella is. <laughs> Maybe not gonna work for us today. No, no, we're good. <laughs> I didn't know we did. All right. What do you think, Jake? Uh, There's a lot to see. Times Square, baby. We showed our friends around Grand Central Station. And then met up with some of Jake's friends who live in the area and spent the rest of the afternoon at the Natural History Museum. Big dum dum. ourselves at a tiki bar after going to the Natural History Museum, after meeting up with Jake's friends, after going to the Rockefeller Center. Uh, it's been an eventful day after the Angelina's breakfast. So, I liked it. I thought it was really cool. It's probably one of the best museums I think we've been to. Super busy though, just because it was rainy and it was Saturday out. I felt like very confused. About it did feel pretty confusing. It did feel like the signage was very good. Like I didn't really learn a lot. Yeah, that's like one of my favorite I still want to take one there. This looks crazy. <laughs> You ready to uh, die tonight, Jake? Oh man. Yes, I'm ready. Jake's inner Lego. child coming out. In the Lego this is the store. first thing we've said today? Yeah. Hello, welcome to day three. Welcome to day three. So originally we were going to get bagels, but now I think we're just going on a shopping spree. I was telling them I wasn't going to go to the <laughs> oh, back again. <laughs> I had no idea you were such a nerd, Jake. Thanks, bud. Just doing the exact same thing we did last time we were here in New York. Oh my goodness. Childlike wonder. Where 
we at? The Oculus? Oculus. The architect wanted to embody a dove kind of flying out of the ground. You would know that. We went to a lot of places. Yes. Right. Jake's first Aperol Spritz. I'd get it again. You'd get it again. A plus review. We've just gotten back from a soaked day. We need to head out to dinner, but it's very wet. So I'm not going to bring the camera. I hope you guys are okay with that. So. We're going to some Italian restaurant that is cheaper than the last Italian restaurant that I left my letters at. We skipped out and we left the table and Matt left a bag of his stuff there and it's they chased us down and me and Shelby hung our heads low. <laughs> real, real low. It was a little embarrassing, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> to the best bagel and coffee in New York, apparently. Except when I told Matt we were going, he heard me say, death bagel. <laughs> <laughs> we got bagels yesterday, but Omar and Julie have not tried bagels yet since being in New York. So, so we're gonna try them out. Again we're that. gonna get bagels again. There's no rain. Look at this clean shaven man. All right, all right. <laughs> We made it to the meatpacking district. We're going to Pier 55 right now. It's very pretty out. The sun kind of keeps going behind clouds and then coming back in. Oh, he's got the hang of it. Yeah, you gotta take it slow. Bizarre. Made our way to Central Park. Impressed? It's amazing. We honestly weren't sure how this trip was going to go, how our friends from completely different parts of the world would connect and interact with each other, how we'd make the most of a rainy weekend in New York. But we always find that when you put yourself out there and create these kinds of opportunities for adventures and learning new things, you usually find way more than you realized you were even looking for. 